So I'm 37 weeks. I've been feeling a lot of serious contractions and last night was really, really bad. Jalen is here and he is- Dr. Jalen here. It is Dr. Jalen. He is about to check my cervix for dilation and or effacement for the first time. Um, are these your, what, what hands are these that you're doing? Surgical hands. Surgical hands, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm really nervous. So please be gentle. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so nervous because it's not like you've never touched me before, but this is different. Wait, I'm not ready. Oh my God. We have to know whether or not I'm dilating. Our doctor has walked him through it, so we did get the okay from the doctor. That, doing that right there is not making me feel. I want you to trust me. I trust it. you, but <laughs> this is so scary. This is not my first time touching your vagina, okay? Okay, but this is different. I know, baby. It's gonna be okay. Oh my god! <laughs> I should be the one freaking out. You are you not freaking out? I'm trying to move past it. <laughs> Wait till I stop laughing so I can open up. <laughs> Because I have to be relaxed. Do you know where you're going? You want up. I've seen every night go up. They, they go up? They go up. Okay, but your fingers are way longer than theirs, so you don't have to do what they do. And you don't have any lube? Do you play some? Do we have lube? No, we've never needed it. <laughs> Wait. Here we go. That feels so weird. Jalen. It just, it's uncomfortable. No, don't do two. Oh, well, I guess you do need to do two. I'm already doing two. Oh, <laughs> well, don't do three. They, do they put their go up. Hands, do they put their whole hands up there? No, go up. Yes, go up. They're all five. Up. I am up. You don't feel anything? Feels like a. <sighs> feels like a hole. It feels like a hole. <laughs> Jalen just did it. No, get away. Do you get dilated? I think so too, because you said it, it's not supposed to feel like a hole inside. It's like not an ending. It was an ending? Mm -mm. Well, you guys heard it first. We do have a doctor's appointment. Um, Monday. On Monday. Today's Saturday. You want to try one more time? No. So he checked it and it seems as though I could be dilating, um, which would mean that depending on how dilated I am, I would need to go to the hospital. This was definitely an experience. Good job, Jalen. <laughs> well, I'm outside trying to get labor started. The baby's head is very low. Jalen has me doing laps while he blows the leaves. There he is. Blowing the leaves as he always does. Today's Monday. Just trying to get labor started. We'll see what happens if anything happens tonight. I know I look a hot mess. So I'm currently on my bouncy ball. I am 38 weeks tomorrow. I went to the hospital um, this morning at like 4.30 a.m. I was contracting or I was in a lot of pain and contracting. It was like weird because usually the contractions are conjoined with the pain but i had pain non-stop and then the contractions would come in and out in and out however 
I'm soft, but I'm not dilated. Jalen just left to go get me all of the ingredients for the midwives brew recipe so that I can induce my labor safely and naturally. So I'm gonna try to just do a little bit of cleaning, get things ready to go, and also take a shower because I look homeless. That way when I take the drink, I'll be prepared. <laughs> Not that you could really prepare for this, but I'm nervous, but I'm more ready. I'm ready to meet our baby girl. Yeah. Okay, so it's currently 11.18, and um, I didn't end up taking the uh, midwife's brew because um, they didn't have all of the ingredients that we needed. So instead, um, we just decided to do the castor oil. I took two tablespoons and I took it at 9.58 p.m. I'm having some contractions, but mostly I just feel really dizzy and nauseous. From what they're saying online, it takes about seven hours for your water to break if it does. So I will be back in a little bit to see if it makes me use the bathroom and or if it just clears my mucus plug like it's done for a lot of women or if it's just time. So we'll see. Okay, so I just threw up. I think I'm gonna have to use the bathroom soon. I was feeling nauseous and I finally threw up so I'm feeling a little better but Pretty sure I'm gonna have to use the bathroom now. And I'm contracting like every five, 10 minutes. So. Today is the day after Thanksgiving, November 26. It is currently 6.46 in the morning. And um, I believe I felt some type of trickle while I was sleeping. So it woke me up out of my sleep. It was a little bit, it was just enough just to trickle down my leg. So I waited, I went back to sleep for about another hour. And then I felt another bigger one. And that's when I hopped up out of the bed and turned the light on. I called my mom and I was like, mom, I think it's time. I'm not sure. And so uh, she was like, ah, it's time. Get to the hospital. I'm on my way. So she was like, wake Jalen up. Where is he? I'm like, he's right here. But the thing is, he got wasted last night. So I'm truly hoping that he has been capable of sleeping that off right now because it's go time <laughs> but he's fine he's doing great good job daddy we'll see what they say i'm i'm 39 weeks as of yesterday we'll see if it's a leakage or if it's just a hell of a lot of discharge we don't know i highly doubt that one and i have this really big urge to poop like but my mom's like, no, don't push. So I'm like, okay, lady, I won't push. So I'm holding whatever this sensation is I'm feeling. It has been nine years since I had a baby. So I don't remember any of this. This is all brand new right now. And each pregnancy is always different. Go to the bathroom. Can you stop one second? Yes. So we're at the hospital, um, we're in labor and delivery. We've just been signed in. Oh my God. Jalen is very coming, excited. Baby. She's coming. <laughs> Can I get to the drinks that we here? I'm not really like 
gushing. It's just like trickle, trickle, trickle. A little bit, trickle, trickle, trickle. We're walking up to labor and delivery. I refused a wheelchair because walking induces labor even more. So makes the process go a lot quicker. I'm not excited about the IV. I am very afraid of needles. Ooh, and it really feels like I just need to poop, honestly. Contractions, but not painful yet. So here we go. So <laughs> here's Jalen getting ready for his daughter to arrive. He's so excited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were knocked out. Is that the potosa? It is. Uh, I'm scared. No epidurals? I got epidurals for all of them, though. Okay. And are you thinking you might do that this time? Or oh, absolutely, you know? 100%. Okay. Well, we're good whenever you are. Okay. I guess once I get to either screaming to death or four or oh, five. Comes first? Right. Whichever gotcha. one comes first, because... I feel like this one's gonna come faster, so I don't wanna wait. I will usually wait till I'm seven. Uh, yeah, that would not but be this one, wise. yeah, this, I don't think that's gonna happen this time. However, it is completely up to you. Yeah. Okay, so they've given me Pitocin um, to help things move along. I'm only one centimeter. It's now 11.48 a.m. Um, and as of just a few seconds ago, my water completely popped and it hurt a little bit, <laughs> surprisingly. Um, it just felt like a poke, a very surprising strong poke. And then all of it just gushed out. This just means that the contractions are about to get real. Mmm, like right now. Water's still coming out. <laughs> you're sitting on a pee pad, so. Yeah. Yeah, you're fine. You still feel it? Yeah. Oh, it's so yucky feeling. Because it's the pressure pushing it out, and then it's like. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> And it's really, really warm. Oh, it's all over the place. Yay! <laughs> Oh, my God.